I'm gonna get to know this flat abs here. Unlike the curved one, got a nice straight edge on it. And it should make doing this bottom a little bit better actually, it's a little bit easier. I've got a, a good hump here. Yeah, I left her very rough before, of course. And uh, but it's time to get her nice and flat, smooth, and sexy. And that's what we're gonna do with Naughty now. Blind man feeling his way. I got a hump here. And I'm gonna go get it. I am scared, brother. This is all about weight loss program. I'm gonna do it. All right, I'm getting to know Mike's tools, and they are doing a fine job. Uh, even the long-handled ads is gonna be usable for me right now. Um, I can still feel it pretty well, and uh, I whack a little bit, just a little bit at the bottom, and. Uh, and was trying to score up on the side here and actually hacked it with the uh, flat ads as well. And gonna bring these jowls in. I remember that was extremely tough and it hasn't changed. <laughs> Back at it, man. I'm loving it though. She's gonna lose some weight. You gotta remember her. Remember this old look because she's gonna look a little bit different when I'm done with her. It helps to be ambidextrous, yeah, even if I am blind. There's a crack through here, and uh, I'm aware there's a couple in here. I patched it up before, and uh, this tool's doing a fine job, though. Naughty, there's a weight, baby. Uh, this is what I've been doing so far, just shaping the bow a little bit more, smoothing her out, getting rid of her jowls and pulling it all in and up, and skinny and everything, everything, uh, including the gunnels. Uh, I'm doing it all from the outside right now, and I think I'm going to continue to do this. And uh, what I've decided to do is go on down. I'm going to do the length of the canoe on the gunnels on the outside. We're going to skinny up from the outside. And uh, I'm going to smooth things out a bit. And uh, she was a little rough on our hands when you're uh, paddling. Uh, but most of it was due to the half moon shaves for the sharp edges uh, from the curved ads. And uh, that no longer will be an issue. Uh, this flat edge is smoothing everything out and of course I'll finish it with the scorp and then we're going to sand her down she's going to be smooth this, this is going to be a finished canoe now um, I left it rough for a reason for the last trip but uh, again the reason I'm doing this is to skin her out and uh, make her into a beautiful canoe now she's going to be even more beautiful and, uh, and she's going to be light enough for two or three people to carry her um, once again, if uh, I make a three-man canoe, three men have to be able to carry it. That's that simple. And I don't care if it's a dugout canoe. I've seen them before. The banana boat was a rock star. And if it can be done, it can be done every time. So uh, she's taking shape, though. I'm going to be working on the stern here shortly, but I'm going to 
continue down the gunnels here skinny that out a little bit we're starting to get a little bit of chips out there you see by the end of the day hopefully I got a little pile going uh, I'm not messing around I figure a week two at the most and we'll be done and uh, so uh, pay attention <laughs> uh, she's transforming right before your eyes <laughs> We're skinning it out the stern now. I've come all the way down the canoe along the gunnels and uh, started getting it thinner in there. And uh, now I'm pulling in the stern and gonna pull it up a little bit more and actually gonna knock some of this tail right off here. There's a lot coming off here. You'll notice I kind of slide my feet a little bit at a time. You have to keep lined up with it or you'll dig too much or you'll miss it. <laughs> it's very, I'm not taking off a lot of wood at this point. And don't forget, I can't see. <laughs> so I'm really feeling this. I, I can feel where the, the edge is actually hitting the wood there. And that's why you'll see when I, when I hit it, after I chip it, I usually check it. And then whack it again, and check it again. Whack it, check it, whack it. And I, I'm just, I'm just remeasuring my distance, and uh, making sure I stay far enough back, and basically straight on with it, so I, uh, I have the proper angle of attack. And this is a knot again. Her name is Naughty, and there is a reason for it. There are a couple knots in the back here that were rather troublesome, and this is one of them. And uh, what I really want to do here is get these jowls out just like I did on the, on the bow now and pull it in. And that's what I'm doing to the best of my ability. And basically, so we're coming in from here. So I'm, I'm trying to get a line. came off. Well, that happens. Bring in the heavy artillery. See what happens here. See if I can hit, I'm going to go for this knot again. We'll see what happens. Out comes the knot. 
just like that. This is the big edge. It was doing some damage. And it did major damage. Well, yeah, here we go. Here we go. That's the bow. My thumb fits through it. Uh, it's very close to waterline. I'm going to have to uh, do something about that. Getting skinny. <laughs> Getting too skinny, maybe. Uh, this is Naughty's new look. I'm doing away with the end here, too. I pulled it in quite a bit. Uh, right down here. I only pulled it in and up. Got another problem on this end. There's a split all the way around here. Again, it's above waterline. I think I had this before. But there is daylight through here. Once again. Well, I've been chopping on my baby. Uh, not a whole lot on this side. But you can see the chips. And uh, there's a gaping hole right there in the bow. I was mostly working on the far side today. Well, take a look here. Voila. Uh, you can see I've smoothed her out quite a bit. I'm straightening out these lines. Those cracks are no problem. Uh, no more problem than that hole. Oh my god, I chopped too much. What was I thinking? Ah! <laughs> I chopped my hair off. Oh my god. Hey. <laughs> yeah, it's still me. Oh well. A whole new shade of ugly. <laughs> uh, hey man, Nani's gonna lose some weight. I had to too, right? <laughs> anyway, we get one more look at her from the stern here. You can see I'm uh, I'm getting rid of the ends. I'm uh, I'm taking the the ends off entirely. Uh, where the bow and stern line was. And uh, we'll take another look down here and I'll show you what I mean. We're doing it here too. Okay, I just carved into it here. Um, but we're pulling her up and whoosh, all this is coming off. And then it should have to begin with. And I'm going to make this uh, nice and tight in here. It's going to be beautiful. That point's going to be much thinner. That point's gonna be much thinner, <laughs> and uh, and uh, she's just gonna lose some more weight off the jowls. You can actually see I've definitely pulled it in and up on that side. So um, that's what we're doing here. She's gonna be light. I'm telling you, two or three of us will be able to pick this canoe up. I will not stop uh, carving until that's the case. So. Cause then we gotta get on another adventure. God, it's nice to be back, y'all. We're gonna start day two here. Flip her over on the other side, and I'm gonna do basically what I did yesterday. If my back holds out, <laughs> I don't want to put a hole in this side like I did yesterday. Now he's talking to me. <laughs> hey, baby. Easy does it. The canoe flipped over and wanted me to work on this part. 
I'm okay with that. I'll listen to my girl. I was just uh, whacking at the bow, taking a little more off here, and I hit it hard, and she split all the way across. <laughs> I was going to take some off, not necessarily that much, but... Uh, There's a couple pounds of wood right there. That used to be her bow. <laughs> easy come, easy go. I was gonna get her close to that thin, but I wasn't really planning quite that thin. She's definitely got a lower bow now. I'm certainly gonna bring the stern down. I'm not gonna be taller than she is up front. I was planning on doing that anyway. She's pretty much made up her mind for me. Uh, she's very dry and that seems to be a major deal here because I just whacked at it and that whole thing split. I mean there was no avoiding it. It was coming out. So uh, here we go. I wanted her lighter. She's lighter. You know that the bout really doesn't look that bad. I I don't know if I'm pissed off or happy right now. I really don't. Uh, but I know one thing. That back end, the stern is going to be what she should have been all along. She split at a, at a certain line and I patched it. And that's the same line where it split just recently. Uh, it split all the way down here. Now this is going to have to stay is some of it but we're going to go ahead and take it out right here once again I failed to get it while I did it I was hacking away trying to make this stern the same as the bow now or at least a little bit lower than it was and uh, I got her nice and thin got her to the point where there she goes the stern couple pounds lighter. Unbelievable. That's what we're working with now on the stern. A little different look now. There's looking out from the stern and there's the bottom of it from back here. I've whacked a little bit of course. Um, but I'm going to even that out the best I can here. And uh, Anyway, this is her new line at the moment. I'm gonna clean that up. I just just hacked it off the stern here, so we're gonna we're gonna bring those uh, we're gonna bring that down a little bit. We're gonna even things out. But uh, she's uh, she's getting lighter. Uh, it's gonna be a lot harder to pick up at the moment. <laughs> it is still kind of heavy, but uh, but we're getting there. That's the big man. <laughs> By the canoe, like you should be. All right, I had to get a good look. End of day two, for all intents and purposes. 
and uh, got a lot done. This is the side, basically, uh, that we did yesterday. Then, this is the side that I did today. Now, of course, this is the stern, what's left over. Uh, I'm gonna even this out. We just, I just whacked off the end of it to even out with the bow, more or less. The bow is looking quite a bit different. It's a lot, lot leaner, a lot meaner, and uh, it's gonna look straight down on her here. Looking good. It's actually the lights hitting her beautifully here. Not either dugout canoe, everybody. She looks beautiful in the morning light. Again, this is uh, her new look taking shape. I just can't wait to get her on the water. I'd, I'd like to try her right now. <laughs> All right, I've uh, just taken the score and etched out the, uh, the sides of the bottom, the edges on the bottom, and uh, just wanted to be able to see it uh, and I don't want to change her characteristics a whole lot here she paddled fine but I did notice I, I know I know the way she points on the river and uh, and I'm gonna try and uh, try and make her look better uh, and make her point uh, go with the flow so to speak and uh, trying to fix that mess from yesterday with the bow and the stern I've evened them out quite a bit. Uh, I think you can see that. Uh, I haven't uh, brought in the bottom uh, yet so much. Uh, I've been basically working on the top again today. Uh, I dug a little bit inside. You can't really tell what I've done in there because the chips in there, but uh, I flattened it out a little bit. Uh, it's still rather difficult in there. Um, but I've evened the gunnels quite a bit uh, and thinned them out a little bit more particularly on that side and it's evening out I, I'm bringing uh, bringing the starboard side out and the port side in um, and I'm trying to give her uh, another good line I'm not going to walk that just yet we got to take a look at the stern here this is uh, this has been a big job today. Um, it's been rather difficult. Uh, I can uh, you can see the lines. I just put these on like a center line, and uh, of course it's a little uneven down here. It always was, and uh, I'm going to try and straighten her out. Um, I'm just going to try and make her as nice as I can now, and. Uh, this is what the side looks like uh, on this side and uh, you should be able to see the far gunnels again and uh, one thing that's uh, a problem uh, well it's not nothing new this is the old crack and it's showed its ugly head again now these are the cracks that I filled uh, when I built her before when I carved her, I didn't build anything, I carved her, but uh, anyway, they're splitting quite a ways down, and uh, the epoxy has done the job up until now, but uh, the whacking on it is, has knocked everything loose, and uh, I've, I've been taking quite a bit off this side, bringing this side in, like I say, uh, from the outside, and pushing that side out and trying to even things out because the center line uh, I had the bow uh, pointing uh, off center uh, before compared to the bottom of the canoe and now I'm going to straighten that out uh, now that I've seen how she tracks in the river uh, I've drawn a line primitively as I do with the crayon and uh, you can see the center line and you can tell just by the uh, 
uh, the bow line mount here that I have that you know everything is heavy onto this side so I'm gonna knock that out and knock this stuff out here and uh, I'm gonna have her a lot more uh, more balanced I think let's see if I can get that shot I always love there you go now we're looking from the bow of course oh what a lovely canoe <laughs> she looks a little different don't she <laughs> uh, this is fun <laughs> Moving her on to the canoe company. Better look here. A little more symmetry than she used to have. We're getting there. Little by little. <laughs> She's in her new spot. Signed, sealed, and delivered. Damn near level. Right here. We are at the canoe shop of Mike Clark, no relation. And this is where now it's going to be finished. Alright. from hell. Good job. 
boy Steve out in Colorado. I know you remember this or not. You're getting her done, Bubba. I know you can appreciate this. He whacked on it like hell. Heavy artillery. I just moved the canoe. <laughs> I just moved the whole canoe. It's getting light. Wow. I can't believe it. Why can't I believe it? I'm a canoe carver. Anybody doubt that? Yeah, baby. See how it's coming down and in and super sexy. That's how I like my canoe. And I'm going to try and lose some of this S I got here. The other night, you can hear it. Well, that was interesting. Nadi's got a very different line, and it's working for me, man. I'll tell you what. And the bow looks like the bow now. There's no question. <laughs> so, still gonna take a little of that pudginess out of her rear, but uh, it looks more like a canoe, doesn't it? <laughs> it's Nadi the dugout canoe. Old Robin Hood needs some chopping, man. He's he's wanting some, I can tell. making bad chops today right now I'm very not happy with my chopping I don't know that I've ever said that I'm trying to get stuff done but I'm weak and I'm just not doing it right I can get that out without hurting nothing I think Think. Yeah, I think we'll be able to do this. Yes, I look at the bell. Without the hook. No. She's still got to be straightened out a little bit more. Okay. You can see this side is the center. So I still want to pull this in a bit and pull that one in a little bit. And uh, we're going to make her much skinnier. I'm going to give her a blade. It's going to be a blade. A thin point. A thin point, not a big, fat, lopsided one. There it is. Little by little. Big news today, of course. Well, you can see the gunnels are evening out quite a bit. That was the first thing. But the thing that I impressed myself with 
except for this little bit here that I couldn't take out just now because I can't see is how that stern came in and she came in rather nicely there we go now we're looking better look at that this is my first time sitting in the stern in days at least I don't know maybe a week but uh, I gotta tell you it's roomier I uh, it's noticeable I uh, I didn't have this kind of room in here before uh, it was nice bringing out the side there and uh, that's the look without the bow hook on there and but with the gunnels more evened out be nice to be on the water right about now. <laughs> Another look from down here. Very different lines on Naughty now. I decided to flip her this morning. I'm going to work on this bottom a little bit. Her lines have always just been unusual. Uh, this side you have We have it curving out directly and, and, and actually going straight up right away and on the starboard side here it works its way out in a big curve and uh, I still want to see how much of this I can pull out of here trying to even this bow out a bit more that's her unusual lines there uh, flaring out on that side and going straight up on that side and that has been the problem that's why I kind of wanted it lowered a little bit and see if I can make it work its way out <laughs> see how tough this GoPro is <laughs> It just turned on because I rolled a log over it. <laughs> Oops. We've got room to burn here. And we're going to do it. We're going to get skinny. It's time. Well, I did it now. There's another hole. There's two holes church has put in Naughty. And look at them. They're damn near in the same spot. Right across from one another. <laughs> Maybe that's where I'll have my bow line. <laughs> and see, that's this thing wants to split really bad here. Plenty of stick everywhere, but right there, I should have checked. I'm not, I'm not being careful enough here. So, pissed off at myself as I am. Uh, this isn't as bad as it looks, and I'm still taking out some shit right here, and I just did. Is he absolutely crazy? You can see I'm bringing in the point, bringing it in 
all around this horrible check and the hole. I still brought it in here. I'm not scared. It's doable, man. We're gonna fix this. Balls to the wall, baby. Well, I'm finally addressing this thing. Uh, like I said, this check goes all the way around the tree. I was aware of that last year. It sure as hell does. It goes all the way around. Um, this wood in here is all wet. It's all soggy. It's all rotting, more or less. It's holding water at the very least. And uh, so I'm gonna peel it back a little bit more. And uh, I gotta get to epoxy in this thing. And we gotta straighten her out. It's time. Um, look at this. <laughs> I was thinking I needed a chainsaw. <laughs> uh, now, mind you, th this is a real bad, crappy looking spot that's been there since, uh, since I made her. And, uh, it was very hard to drag the uh, scorp down and I, I just didn't think I could do the bottom with the scorp and uh, Mike was suggesting I do that when I showed him what's uh, what's going on up here with the crack going all the way around and uh, and I decided to go dig in the really nasty spot and she peeled up nicely and I kept going to the stern and then I made my way up here and uh, that's a good before and after shot there really uh, you're looking at what it looked like and what it looks like now and that's all with this bad boy once again the flat ads this is the only tool you need right here you can do it with the curved ads the flat ads I think both of them is the ideal way to go but uh, look at that Look at that. There's nothing to worry about. All this shredded stuff peeled away. Beautiful wood. There was all sorts of Gorilla Glue here. Peeled away. Beautiful wood. Gorilla Glue, varnish, shredded stuff. Peeled away. Beautiful wood. All the way down. That's all I had to do. <laughs> She's my girl, I ain't gonna let her go, you know that. I'm a little upset <laughs> about that check. I ain't gonna lie. And uh, it really had me down. But uh, my girl talked to me. <laughs> and uh, and I kept going. <laughs> She's so awesome. That may be the biggest chunk I've ever taken out of this canoe. Biggest strip, for sure. <laughs> Make a fine wooden belt. Look at this. Nadia will hold up my pants. <laughs> Got the bow tied up, so uh, hopefully that check doesn't get any worse. Um, I'm actually going to have to build in this side a little bit tomorrow, but from up top, uh, I'm going to finish this bottom tomorrow for sure. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And this thing doesn't look as scary. Once I got all that crappy wood out of there, I was wondering what would happen when I peeled it back. Now, I can still peel back this, and. Uh, Lord knows what I'll find out. I, I believe there, there's, a, there's a split all the way down the canoe, uh, bow to stern. Speaking of which, let's go bow to stern. We're going to do <laughs> just right on top here.
Now you can see the difference for sure, what it was and what it is. <laughs> not too shabby. They're not he's wearing their own belt. <laughs> Alrighty, it's been a while since I started chopping and you can see why, okay? This crack is getting rather bad, alright? She's checking hardcore, very hardcore, and it's time to fix it, okay? I've been waiting for this and I can't wait any longer or well, I ain't gonna have a canoe left. So, looks pretty bad. Got that gaping hole, got this long crack, got it splitting out. Got it going all the way around the tree, all the way around the tree, okay? That can come out though, and it will. I have to address this. I need this on the sides of the canoe. So, we're gonna deal with this. You can see the daylight through there. And uh, it looks like crap, but it's my naughty. And I know she's gonna be good to me. Naughty naughty is just a nickname, naughty naughty. She's just being bad at the moment, but she's so bad she's good. Alright, this is how I'm doing it. Right here. Okay? I got wood canoe, wood glue, wood screws, and a Phillips screwdriver. And we're going to fix this. It really is that simple. Alright. I've now done this side as well. Didn't have as many screws left. Uh, but I did what I could to pull her in and glue her up and uh, continuing to wipe the excess off with the Gorilla Glue the best I can. Uh, trying to keep it from looking totally horrible. Um, but right now, the looks are not important. I want this thing sealed. She's a sexy canoe. There's a look there. And I put a little bit up here. I plan on getting rid of that uh, for better or worse. And uh, here's the other side again. A little more dried. And uh, she looks like she's holding nicely. It's uh, day eight of actually chopping on my canoe or working on it. I didn't chop yesterday, just glued her up. Um, she looks all right. She handled it pretty well. We'll give you a look at the bottom here. We're in the shade, but uh, this is what she's looking like right now. We're gonna do a before and after today. We'll just take a look right here. I hope you can see that, because I can't. Don't forget I've made this canoe legally blind. <laughs> well, there you go. Got about 10 minutes to work on it and I gotta quit again. <laughs> but, I got that strip out the middle. Even it out a little bit. I got a lot more to do, but I gotta help Mikey out right now. So. Hopefully get back to this today. I want to finish this bottom. Alright, we are at the Wings of Spring event in St. Louis. And I moved Naughty down here for the day. But I'm going to keep chopping. And uh, we're just going to have a public camp today, that's all. Um, Mike and I were the first ones here. Go figure. Had a... Uh, we've set up a... Uh, temporary shelter here. Uh, notice we got the June bug. We've got a couple of ABS canoes back there and we got Naughty and the tools. Uh, Mike is down on the river. Uh, he's got all the aluminum canoes down there. We're giving canoe rides today. Uh, he's gonna call me if he needs me and, uh, and I'll, I'll take people out too. We're also renting canoes and I'm demonstrating building and building carving a dugout canoe and uh, so Nadia's gonna get some showtime today and that's a beautiful thing 
There she is. Let's see. You can tell I already got a couple chips going. I just kind of whacked at the bottom a little bit, just finish evening her out a bit. But uh, I can tell you this: she's not wobbling. That's not wobble. That's just that's her moving because she's lighter. <laughs> she's not wobbling at all. She's uh, that's the flattest bottom she's ever had, no doubt about it. Uh, still needs a lot of work inside, and I'm probably going to be doing that today uh, while I talk to people and. Uh, we may work the gunnels down a little bit more. I definitely want to even the ends out better. Uh, the bow in particular needs some work. I got to figure out how far down I'm going to come. Uh, and I'm going to here too. This, of course, is harder. But uh, perhaps I can finish out the lines back here. I have not addressed this crack yet, and I will be doing that. Uh, I can't really do it today with what I have here. Um, I don't think she's in danger of doing anything crazy. I hope not because I may be whacking on this a little bit. We'll see if she makes a noise. I'm going to stop. <laughs> um, but I want to bring this in yet and down and, uh, and even her out. But uh, I can definitely go down in her today. And I may just wind up doing that. And I want to at least start smoothing out the bottom. The screws and glue still holding. And we're going to test them today. Absolutely. But wings of Spring, St. Louis. And uh, yeah, we were here for a sunrise paddle. Nobody was here. Uh, he, but he did get four people out there. The first people that came today were looking for a canoe ride. And uh, as far as I know, that's the only public that we have. I'm not sure. Um, and we've got people sitting up around us now, sitting on tables and whatnot. I'm, I'm not clear on everything going on here, but I don't have to be. I, I know my mission, and uh, it's going to be a fun day. You know, I've already flapped my lips vigorously for one lady, and uh, she was captivated. And uh, so it's going to be a good day for us, uh, for Naughty, and uh, and for Big Muddy Adventures. So we're going to have fun today. All right, Big Muddy Adventures Canoe Camp. Here at the Wings of Spring, it's coming to a close. Mike is out on the river. There's some banging over there. They're now working on canoes. They got birdhouses going on. But anyway, this is where I've been attempting to work on Naughty. I got some done. Not a whole lot today. You can witness the chips. But uh, flat my lips a lot. And. Uh, it was a good camp all in all. The sun is killing me though. Even though it's been overcast all day, uh, it's quite a bit of burn. But let's take a look at her. Uh, I did pretty much nothing but the inside of the canoe today. So we're going to do the virtual tour. Stir in the bow. And you can see I've evened it out a little bit getting a much better look at her uh, trying to clean it up and that's where we are at right now she's looking pretty good even cockeyed <laughs> she looks marvelous my hand here with the little band-aid on there over the big puncture wound uh, looks better probably I don't know if you can see color. It looks like color to me, but I can feel it. It hurts pretty damn bad right now. <laughs> I'm very happy with my latest modification. I'm not of here. The banana boat seat. And uh, it will be my stern seat. <laughs> can do a before and after. Uh, of course, I'm halfway I don't know. I'm a couple hours into the day, but I've done a lot of chopping. I just spun her around. Ballast facing down now. Stirring up like I like it. Because uh, if we make the gunnels even uh, lengthwise now, uh, she's a little high in the bow, which is exactly what we want. I told you she was drying out. And in this hot sun, I heard her make bad noises three times. I gave her a coat and she's loving it uh, 
You can tell she's got darker tinge to her right now. She's not as white as she was. Get a good look at her. Now, I've gotten the uh, gunnels a little uneven again because I was working them inside and under them and just getting them thin, which I accomplished. Um, however, I got to bring them back down and even them out now. And uh, But I'm going to finish the balance stern as well. ASAP. I didn't even sand her. Uh, so this is just a protective coat. And uh, it's not going to be a lasting one. But it's not meant to be. It's ju just trying to keep her from cracking here. And uh, I think it's going to help considerably. Flip it over and do do the whole the rest of it. There's not much left. It's basically the flat bottom. I I did the sides and the bow and the stern almost entirely, uh, including underneath on the ends. So uh, all I have really is the flat spot on the bottom. So there you have it. I'm just sitting here watching the orange dry. <laughs> And I'm a very happy man. Blind man eyeballing it. Brilliant. But uh, that's how I did her all along. And she floated pretty good before. And she's got a flatter bottom now. And she's lighter. And I think she's going to be spectacular. She's awesome. And she's going to have another ride. Another beautiful ride. She's got hit the mighty mode, just like I planned all along. And I want to do the whole Missouri with her. I really do. Because I made her for the lakes of the upper Missouri. And that's why she's got the high bow. And that's why she's got the high gunnels. And to take on the waves of those big, big lakes. And uh, now she's lighter. She'll ride a little higher even. And uh, I can't wait to test those lakes. Test my canoe. I, uh, I whacked at it quite a bit at the end here. <laughs> On the end. At the end. And I uh, was trying to bring it down to match the, uh, the bow. I got a ways to go yet. I can't barely move this hand. I was looking from the stern out to the bow. And, uh, anyway, varnish took pretty nicely. <coughs> I, I got rid of a bunch of it. Uh, <coughs> but she soaked in a lot of it. And she wasn't even sanded or nothing. She just drank it. <laughs> she definitely looks different than she used to, don't she? And, uh, a lot lower. And, uh, wider on the inside <laughs> and yet lighter 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 it's day 12 this is a fine tool here that Mikey had and uh, I'm very thankful for it the flat ads did the job but I'm done with it I'm done chopping the rest is finished work. It's naughty. Now, I just put a coat of varnish on her. And, uh, but she's basically done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a grinder to her from here, smooth everything out really nice with, the, yes, a power grinder. Here's uh, the bow. Wiped it out a little bit more. Uh, but pretty thin in most of those spots there and I want to get rid of the divots that's what the grinder is all about okay the bottom I didn't really touch today <coughs> I uh, these splits are troublesome there's uh, there's a lot of free wood in there that will peel up and I'd rather just do it with the grinder little by little because uh, I'm very thin on the bottom now so uh, that's how I'm going to do it and uh, hopefully expose some of that rot and get some of it out of there. Um, 
and see if I can treat that somehow, but we'll grind it out. Uh, work the gunnels. You'll, you'll see them a little better, but you can see uh, uh, even about fairly well. Uh, dug in out here. I'm going to fix that with the grinder too. The grinder is going to take care of the rest of it because it's all really small stuff and uh, and the grinder is going to do the job. So I'm going to use it on the whole damn canoe and smooth everything out. Um, I'm most proud of this stern actually. Look at that. Uh, she looks a lot different <laughs> uh, than she did before. Uh, that smoothed out quite a bit and lost quite a bit of weight actually and uh, again <coughs> I'm going to grind this out uh, I'm keeping the high point in the rear for the wave action again on the lakes um, uh, even it out I mean it's very small stuff here though just a little here a little there and grind it boom done okay um, but I keep the high point there to break the waves coming behind me if I decide to ride them uh, or if they decide to come up behind me um, it's a good thing to have that and hopefully it'll act as a brake and get them down the sides the gunnels are still nice and high I didn't lower them that much even though I thought about it uh, I didn't actually finish with this crack yet and uh, I will do that I'm going to glue that like I did the front and uh, but uh, we'll grind it out and uh, that'll be done and uh, but if you look down here the lines come clean and uh, I'm trying to see what I'm showing you here I'm not sure I, I can't even see it on my screen but uh, I know you can see her from here so uh, I'm just going to walk across here I want you to see these lines because uh, again blind man doing it and uh, I, I just eyeballed it really uh, that's what I did <laughs> and uh, felt it mostly actually uh, but anyway those are the new lines of Naughty the dugout canoe and uh, I think she looks sexy as hell she's a sexy canoe